on show in Geneva, the false fakes exhibition of photographs that are not what they seem. They might look like documents of our time, but they are staged, manipulated, photoshopped, doctored. If I told you the camera doesn't lie, well, I'd be fibbing. With all this photo fakery going on, you'd think by now we'd be able to tell the difference. The problem is we're being played. Artists like nothing better than manipulating reality so that we can't tell the difference between what's real and what's fake. It's a mise en scène, uh... I asked for some help from Sébastien Le Seigneur, one of the exhibition curators. Là, on voit sur le toit. He suggested that if someone is hell bent on deceiving us, then they'll probably succeed. Le fumé de flamme, donc c'est complètement photoshopé. Ce qui devient compliqué, en fait, c'est lorsque ça devient un niveau institutionnel. What's complicated is when a state or big company sets out to manipulate us. Then they employ complicated strategies that are difficult for us to disentangle, even if we are visually pretty educated. Très très bonne culture visuelle. We might expect images in a gallery to be manipulated, but with programs like Photoshop, anyone can distort reality, much to the dismay of insurance companies dealing with claims based on photographic evidence. So what can you do? Well, you can go to companies like 4 and 6 in the US or Verified in Europe. Both companies have developed software that can tell if an image has been tweaked, tampered with, or completely transformed. We developed a number of uh, mathematical and computational methods which analyze pixel values in uh, digital photos or videos and search for some kind of non-consistencies, inconsistencies in them. So in this way, we are able to highlight, detect if some part of the photo or video has been tampered with. Let's say you wanted to change a birth certificate. The most famous doing the rounds is the US president's, recently sent out by the White House to quell a controversy. It's easy enough to alter it so the president appears to have been born in Nairobi. But put the photos through verified and it highlights the dodgy area. This is the original one and this is the photo which has been compressed. The software examines the data that makes an image up, flagging up inconsistencies to show a recompression or patch on the original. You see that there are some periodic artifacts some holes. Doctoring photos has a long and inglorious history, so here are five photo fakes from the archive. You know what it's like, you invite some friends over and you wish some of them hadn't turned up. Here's Chairman Mao and his diminishing entourage. Italian dictator Mussolini airbrushed out his stable hand so he looked more heroic. The horse has long since bolted. More recently, the then French president, Nicolas Sarkozy, did away with his muffin tops in this famous photo. Number four. What are you talking about? This is real, isn't it? And finally, Iran misfired when one of its test missiles managed to launch only in Photoshop, leading to internet parodies like this. Digital cameras leave fingerprints. It's now possible, for example, to trace images back to the camera or camera owner who generated them. Photo forensics is a growing field with applications for anyone who needs to know if an image is true. Cameras can lie, but now there's a lie detector.